Hi, this presentation is to show you how to install Windows 2012 server in virtual machine. So first you need to download those software from Microsoft site. I do have a link here and as you can see there are three links. The first one is to download workstation, the evaluation version. If you don't have any, go ahead and download that one. So that way you can have a Windows VMware workstation in your PC. So once it's, you have that one, now you need to install Microsoft Windows Server 2012. And once you install it, um, we eventually will be installing the SQL Server Enterprise Edition. So first today, this video is totally for installing Windows Server 2012. As you can see, I have downloaded the Server 2012 version. And also, I did download the Windows 10 ISO image as well. And we will be also using Windows 10 ISO image uh, for to show as a client, because eventually we will be connecting to Microsoft SQL Server 20, uh, 2012 version of Enterprise Edition from a client machine. So for that purposes, I also downloaded Windows uh, 10 ISO. And I will be giving you the link in the later videos. So today's one, as you can see, we have this ISO version for 2012 server. It's been downloaded. So having said that, let's start. So first thing, we will create a new virtual machine. And then we'll use the typical. Then go to next. Then there, the installer disk image, we will try to find out where's our 2012 server and we'll select that one select open so now it's been there now click next and you can name it and we'll just name it as win, win server 2012 and we'll leave the location the default location but if you would like to Put it in some special directory you can do so by browsing it and then it's asking for 60 gb because really we'll be installing only that microsoft sql server so 60 gb is pretty okay but if you are having some issues with your space you can just cut it to i would say just make it 40 and then you can split virtual disks into multiple files or a single file. So it totally depends on you. I'll just leave it as is. Then go to next. And here we do have to do some customization. First thing is like, as you can see by default, it's showing 2 GB and my host laptop can take maximum 16 GB. So in that case, what I'll do, I'll just put it up to somewhere six or yeah, somewhere six would be okay. And then for the network adapter, by default is select the NAT, which if you want, you can do so, but eventually will be um, assign a dynamic, uh, sorry, the static IP address. So in that case, we really would like it to be bridge network. So we'll select to the bridge. Uh, network selection and then what else uh, yeah and also we have to select the processor so let's pick the processor and we'll make it two and number of cores will be two will be fine and because that is your virtual machine you shouldn't go more than that and then that might slow down your host machines activity so now we will close it and we are ready to rock. It will take a few minutes to activate. And right as you can see loading the file, I will pause right here. Windows just booting up. So now, as you can see, we have Windows Server 2012 installation pop-up window. So the default is fine. Go to next install now so setup is starting 
and because sometimes it will take a little longer time so unnecessary the keeping the videos running usually usually if that kind of case i will be pausing the video but you won't miss any installation step so for here right now we will be selecting the windows server the data center evaluation and for the evaluation you have two choices one is for the graphical user mode and other one is in command mode so as you can see this one is a it says it does not include a GUI so for that one we will select this one and this is the option is useful when a GUI is required for example to provide backward compatibility for an application so we will select this one and in order you can even expand that one so that way easily you can read so as you can say server with GUI and that's the one that we will select click to next now accepting the license now here we will be doing the custom installation windows only and here those that space that L we allocated earlier 40 GB that's where we will be installing our Windows Server 2012 so click to next and now it's copying this is the step that will take a little while because first it will copy the Windows file then as you can see getting files ready to install so right now it's only at 16% installing feature then installing updates then it will finishing it up so at this point I will put a brief hole and once it's at the end I will turn the video on so now it's went and it's at the last one so now it's Windows is needs to restart and it's restarting in one second so we did go through the installation process and now Windows is starting for the very first time Here's also just one thing I want to mention. Uh, when you'll be installing, yeah, some of the steps might take a little longer. And it's very okay. Because as I pause in between, so that's why you might see that over here it took very fast. It just finished it a little faster than your one. But, but it's okay. N nothing to be alert of. So now here, the very first one, as by default, the administrator wants a password so that it will be the one who will be owning this whole Windows 2012 server so while you will be creating a password uh, one thing to be careful that it has to be at least one uppercase and then lowercase and then there should be some numeric and then also some special character like underscore and stuff like that and at least it has to be 8 to 10 12 character long so let's go and let's create one okay so now I'm going to finish it up okay so now here's one thing press ctrl alt delete to sign in so in order to send this ctrl alt delete in your virtual machine you have to do it from the windows vmware menu bar so now once you did it and it just send the ctrl alt delete command into virtual machines operating system and now i'm going to type my password that i have created okay so for the very first time we install the of server so here the network say yes and when you come you will see the server manager dashboard so whenever you will see that one minimize that one and as you can see right now 
your windows is a little bit like smaller than your screen and so in order to fix it uh, what do you have to do you have to install the VMware tool for this operating system and and this is very important that you install that VMware tool so to do so you go to virtual machine from VM from the menu bar and over there you just install VMware tool when you do it it's usually if you go to explore file explorer then you will see that VMware tool just showed up here so now as it showed up here you just double click to install it so pay attention at the bottom it will show up here and then you click to next and the typical is fine then install and it's installing once it's installed it will ask you that it needs to restart in order to take effect which is fine right now we won't don't want to restart right now and one of the reason is when you will be creating this one so now that you install on the left side you will see in the library it will be showing that win server 2012 that we just installed if you click to here and go to setting when you came here setting so one thing what we would like to do because you will be constantly working from your host machine to your virtual machine so we need to have some sort of folder in our host machine that we need can access from VM VMware through this VMware tool so in order to do that we will make little changes so one of the thing is you click to option and then you will go to but, uh, share folder once you go to share folder you said always enable and from your host path you try to find one that you really want to share so browse it in my case I created a file at C drive actually a folder I created a folder at C drive which is called SQL DBA so now I'm selecting it and I said next and enable this share yes mark the checkbox and now we are we completed so now next time when you will come under network you would you will be able to see your VMware that host say for instance here as you can see it's already showing that here and this one make a note this folder exists in your host laptop not in the VMware so now one nice thing you can always exchange file or any script or anything between from and to VMware through this folder so that was the reason for it so now that everything is all set all we need to do restart the machine so I'll go ahead and I'll say restart and I will say plan and then continue now that Windows restarted we will log in by sending a control alt delete command and now type in the password okay so we are in now even still you might wonder like it's still the windows showing very little but actually all you have to do maximize the full screen mode so you have to enter to enter into full screen mode to do so just click it there and there you go so that that was how you install 2012 server in a virtual machine thank you for watching